Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Simple Plans video. Today we're checking out this plane right here. I kind of want to land it on the USS Beast. No, the USS Tiny. We're going to try and land this thing on the USS Tiny. Uh, as you guys can see, it's a twin prop and uh, it looks amazing. It looks quite cool. So, we're going to be using this today. We're probably going to try out some other planes as well. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Hey! Okay, so apparently this name, or the name of this thing is a Daimler Klim. Klim? L21? Uh, which is a 1920s plane. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and uh, turn our throttle off. You press 1, and you press 2, and then you can go. There you go. I don't know whether this thing flies on one engine, but I guess we could give it a go. And it is actually super slow, so um, there you go. We're going about 50, our tail is off the ground. And uh, if we pitch up, presumably we're off the ground, yeah. So we're only going 60 miles an hour, and we are flying, <laughs> which is pretty nice. That is pretty cool. And that's what I'm thinking will allow us to actually take off from the USS Tiny. Or land on it. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes, but uh, I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, so we can go on the inside if we want to. We got a throttle gauge right there. Uh, I don't know what the other ones do, going to be honest. Uh, I don't know if this does anything at all. I don't think it does. Uh, but it's quite cool that we got it. Also, it's very loud. It is very, very loud. What is that? There's a plane flying around in the sky over there. Uh, I can barely see it now. In fact, yeah, it's very tiny. It's very, very tiny. Anyway, we're going to go around this corner. Uh, we can land at about 50 miles an hour now that we've actually tested that thing out. And uh, I'm sure the brakes on this thing will do quite well. However, uh, we might end up smacking our propellers into the ground. That's kind of not what I want to happen. But we'll see what happens. I don't know. Oh, right, okay. We do actually also have a throttle lever right here as well. And a yoke. Look at that. Whee! That's pretty... Oh, and pedals for your as well. That's pretty nice, actually. I wasn't expecting all that to be in there. All right. Well, this plane takes quite a long time to get to wherever you need to be. Um, it, it is actually flying at, like, 70 miles an hour. 80? 90? Almost 90 miles an hour. Still quite slow for a plane, but it, uh, it's a plane from 1925. How fast were the cars going back then? I don't know. Probably, like, 30? I don't know. Probably a little bit faster than that, to be fair. Um, but I don't know. Anyway, right, we're gonna have to line ourselves up on this quite well, and then put ourselves down. We might be too wide. I mean, this plane is really small, but the USS Tiny is also tiny as well. So, um, yeah, that'll be interesting. Use the brakes carefully to avoid nose over. What happens if I turn off one engine? Can we do that? There we go. I've turned off one engine. That's our left engine is off now. And we are flying on the right engine only. Uh, which actually removes all of my controls completely. Which seems a little bit strange. Oh wait, no. The AI is flying. That makes sense. Okay, right. Let's turn that off again. We'll see if we can fly it with one engine. Alright, so the second one should still be on. Yes. And this should actually allow us to fly really slowly. Oh, it's, it's actually completely fine. That's incredible. We can fly on one engine, which will save us some fuel, I guess. Yeah, amazing. All right, but I think we should be quite controlled, so uh, we're going to go ahead and put both of them on. We're going to fly over to the USS Tiny and just plop ourselves on the ground. This doesn't appear to do anything at all, so um, yeah, D just ignore that, I guess, if you're going to test this thing out. And uh, we'll put it down on the ground really easily. We gotta be careful on the brakes though, so we don't fall over. Alright, let's slow down to around 50%, 40%, that's fine. In fact, cut it completely. There we go. It should start to slow us down. We're going wibbly wobbly, that's okay. And then go very slowly and land us on the ground. Yes? Is this gonna work? Hopefully. Orbit view. Here we go. We're going in, boys and girl. Boys and girl. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Yes! Yes! Now, no one was expecting me to be able to land that, were you? No! I don't think I'm going to be able to take off, but I mean, we landed. And actually, we landed quite well, which was nice. Yeah, first time, first time for everything, I guess. Yes. Okay, we've got a little bit of a problem now, though, because it's not actually going backwards. And we are nowhere near fast enough to go forwards. I mean, we can try our best to do it. Let's just do it. Let's go. 
Here we go. We're gonna try and fly up here forwards. Don't think it's gonna work. Oh yes! That little bit of uh diving right there worked out quite nicely. Awesome! But I like this plane. It's very, very slow, but it's supposed to be, which is it is okay. Okay, so we've seen that it can land, but can it do a loop-de-loop? -loop? I am going to go ahead and say maybe, but probably not. I don't know. I feel like it'll stall. Yeah, yeah, we are we are pretty much stalling right there, and we are falling out the sky. Okay, uh, so don't do that. <laughs> if you're ever going to try this thing out, don't do that. You go very slowly, and then you stall, and then you die if you're too low. But, um, yeah, you know, we got up to 100 miles an hour there. That's pretty fast for this thing. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put it down on the ground at right airport, and we're gonna get out a new thing, and we're gonna try that. Mayday, mayday, we appear to have lost both engines! <laughs> I've turned off both engines, we're gonna glide it down, hopefully land it. That plane doesn't look like it's landing very well though. Yeah, that didn't go too well. Nope, no sorry. Uh, but we are gliding. Um, my throttle is at full, but the engines aren't actually on. So, yeah. This is, this is great, this is great. Okay... Pitch up a bit, landed, easy peasy. We don't want to nose over, so we'll put on the brakes very slowly, and uh, we'll stop it right here. Amazing! I'm pretty pleased with that. It looks awesome. We managed to land it on the USS Tiny, uh, which is my plan. That was my plan. I wanted to land on the USS Tiny, and that was it. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and switch over to something else. If you guys want to download this, I'll link it down below. Okay, so here we have it. This is an A25. Apparently, it is... Um, not an SU-25, which it's, you know, it looks a lot like an SU-25. Um, I'm assuming that it is a ground attack plane, because it looks like an SU-25. Um, and yeah, look at that, we got two cleavers, which are these ones right here underneath the wing. The bigger ones, uh, then we got some Boom 25s, we got 56 rockets, and we got four Infernos as well. Alright, okay, that's pretty nice. Let's go ahead and take off with this thing. We do actually have two Guardians and two Interceptors as well, which is pretty nice. Um, so yeah, we're gonna take off. We'll probably shoot down any plane that we see and uh, We might even take out the USS tiny as well because because why not you know we might as well What is this the FAF 444? All right, let's get it. Let's go 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 boys It is worth mentioning that for flaps you have to press one okay, and that drops these down um, Then for tail hook it's two there we go. We don't need that right now and uh, After monitor is three. We'll go ahead and turn that on. We'll go ahead and lift up our landing gear uh, we have a deploy chute, so we can actually slow down really quickly. What else do we need? Alright, we should turn off our flaps. There we go, because they are pitching us up quite a lot. There we go. Uh, we've got jettison for stabilizer, front stabilizer. What? Jettison front stabilizer. If you have to drop all your weapons, and if you want to be more maneuverable, you jettison all that stuff. Okay, cool. Fire! There we go, the FAF-444 is going down, boys! Did we get it? We got it. Easy. Oh, it's shooting. It was shooting. Amazing. All right, head of ground. We're going to do it. Two cleavers. One cleaver takes out the SS Tiny, I believe. So here we go. Whoa. Ready? Fire! There we go. Good. Also, what does this do? Are you ready? Bam. Oh, okay. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. It's not a good idea. Is it blown up yet? It's not blown up just yet, but it will very soon. Boom! Yeah! That's amazing. Alright, cool. We'll go attack the, uh, the USS Beast as well, because why not? Okay, so it appears that we are getting pretty close to the USS Beast. We're going to go ahead and use a cleaver on one of the destroyers. There we go. And then we're going to go for the other destroyer straight after with the Infernos. Okay, we are going to get locked onto probably, but we do have some countermeasures, which is nice. Um, and if you might, if you're wondering why I'm going for the destroyer, uh, before I go for the USS Beast, oh, it's because uh, the USS Beast can't fire back. There we go. I don't know how many infernos it needs for a destroyer, but we're doing it. All right, countermeasures. I can't remember what button it is for the countermeasures, so that's okay. Good. Where's the cleaver? Cleaver's just behind it. Okay, good. We're getting attacked again. We, we keep getting locked onto, but we're okay. Oh, wow, there's the Boom 25s underneath. That's cool. 
Okay, we're turning around. One of the destroyers has sank. All right, there's only the USS Beast left. Okay, are you ready, Mr. USS Beast? Or oh, Mrs. I don't think they're doing very much, to be fair. Okay, we dropped some bombs as well. We missed with some of the bombs, but I think we've killed it. It's destroyed. Yes, very good, everybody. Very good. Do you have any air-to-air -air targets left? We do. There's a drone right there. Let's take that out. And then there's a square. There's a square flying around. Whatever that is. Why is it named square? Whoa, Jesus. What was that? I don't even know what that was. Okay, so yeah, we've destroyed it. The USS Beast is down. The USS Beast's destroyers are down. And the USS Tiny is down as well. So all we got to do is we got to return to base, land ourselves on the ground. And uh, that is it. Mission complete. Okay, so we do have to turn our afterburners off. I believe that is three, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pop our landing gear down as well. We're going to go ahead and throttle down as well. We're going to put our flaps down. And uh, we're going to be landing right here in front of us. Because there's a runway there. And we're already there. So that's good. We're also going to jettison everything. Uh, which is edgy five? I believe... Is that a fuel tank? I... I... Hmm. I don't know. Whoa, there's... Oh, whoops. My bad. Whoa. Okay, I'm pressing every button just because I can. Uh, and that's not a good idea. Also, these flaps really do make you go up. I can't go down at all. So we're going to go ahead and remove those flaps. And we're going to land without them. Because uh, they appear to be quite difficult to use. Okay, here we go. Whoa, Jesus! What is that? It keeps flying past me a million miles an hour. Hold on. Air to air. I can't lock onto it. I don't know what it is. Weird. Super weird. We have air brakes on this thing. Okay, we're wibbly wobblying onto the ground. All right, we bounced and we've skidded off, skidded off the runway, but we landed. Okay, I'm going to count that as a win. Oh, geez, it's coming back. What is that? What was that? It's so quick. What? Oh, geez, it's coming back. All right, well, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here because that thing is insane. I don't want to get attacked by that again. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching. If you guys want to use either of the planes in this video, uh, I'll link them both in the description down below. You can follow me on Twitter and Discord if you want to. I guess you don't follow on Discord, but you know what I mean. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.